Hello, 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 and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Mahogany Magazine, also known as Mahogany Sims, and I am coming to you this week with another speed build. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Right now for me, it's a Monday, so I'm definitely feeling renewed and well-rested. I have been getting a lot of sleep recently and prioritizing self-care, self-love, self, you know, preservation as well. Um, I recently went through some hard life stuff and still going through bouts of grief. And so I've really been prioritizing myself. And so I hope you are doing the same and are able to do the same. Um, but yeah, welcome to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are building a summer seaside cottage in the beautiful world of Brindleton Bay. Um, I really love how this build turned out. It is a little bit different because uh, it's a little simple, I will I will say. Um, it's just a box with some shapes on top. Um, it's a couple of boxes. Um, you'll see, I change it. I change the direction of it and I, I add on to it uh, in a little bit. But it was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest that I posted in Discord. Um, if you would like to join the Discord, please uh, write a little comment and I will send you an invite link. Um, I just started a new Discord and so, uh, and it's not that new now, it's been several months, but I had an old Discord that was like a year old and then I deleted my Discord and now I have a new one. And um, you know, it, it's a small but mighty team. So please feel free to join. We do some fun things over there. We watch movies and TV and um, maybe we'll do some game nights. I'm not sure yet, but I uh, would love to have you if you'd like to join. But we have a build inspiration channel and i posted it this there it was a very simple pick it was like a um i'm pretty sure it was ai to be quite fair but i um I'm not a big fan of ai when it comes to art i think ai could be very useful for you know things like i don't know like civil design or healthcare you know there's a lot of positive ai can do when it comes to the people but for art i really am anti the idea so when i saw the picture i was like oh this looks like a cool illustration and then i i, I looked at it a little bit closer and it was ai nevertheless it inspired this build <laughs> um and really it was mostly the colorway that inspired it blue and yellow i think look so beautiful together they are primary colors um however different shades of blue, different shades of yellow. I don't know, it just screams summertime to me. And so I definitely went all in with that idea. And we are in the lot over by the sea in Brittleton Bay. I don't know what it's called, but you can see it up there in the upper left corner. Um, it, maybe you can, cause I do have a new green shade on, but uh, yeah, it's over in the corner of Brindleton Bay across from the lighthouse lot I want to say um, and if you're familiar with Brindleton Bay you know exactly what I'm talking about you can put it anywhere honestly there's there's nothing specific that's keeping it in Brindleton Bay but I love that this is by the sea it, it's very um, off the road it there's no real road that leads directly to this house so it definitely gives you know kind of cozy hideaway vibes so anyway um, yeah Speaking of reshade or G shade, whichever you use, I use G shade. Uh, the new G shade that I have is by Plantle. Um, I believe that's how you say it. I love it. It's called Daylight, and um, I previously I use a lot of different reshades, G shades, depending on my mood. But I think this might be the one for some builds for some time, maybe. But I love it. I'll put all the information with a link in the description below of where I got it from. Um, it is compatible with both Reshade and G-Shade as long as you have all the shaders installed, which this creator is so gracious and they put all the shaders that they used uh, for you to install. And so I love it. I love how deep it is. It's 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 like, it's a little shadowy, but it's not too much shadow. Um, I just love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's my new Reshade. It does have some uh, depth of field going on. Um, and there are a few different versions. There's one that has more depth of field and then there's some that has more blue and then there's one that has no depth of field so I kind of cycle through all of them in this build as I'm recording um, and yeah you'll see the difference but the differences are so slight uh, they're all have the same colorway and the same uh, shading and lighting so it's absolutely gorgeous anyway um, <laughs> I digress but yeah this is meant to be a summer cottage I realize summer has been upon us for some time now and I haven't really built any summer um specific builds not an apartment not anything and i was like 
darn it, I need to do that. And so this was, you know, par for the course. It's summertime. I love the summer. Um, every year I feel like I take it for granted. And this year I've really been trying my best to enjoy and live in the moment despite life challenges. And um, this is just another part of that energy, that summertime energy. And so uh, I imagine one Sim lives here. At, you could put a couple in here, but I feel like the story as I began to build it um, and decorate it on the inside it is a one sim build and I imagine the sim who lives here is a florist. Um, I built a little extension on the side, which you'll see a little bit later, um, of like a greenhouse where they do their flower arranging. And I imagine they are like the, just cats me out. Like everyone in Riddleton Bay goes to them for their parties, um, their weddings, uh, any kind of events that require flowers or any kind of floral arranging, this sim is the go-to. Um, and so you'll see throughout the home a lot of flowers. You'll see a lot of different flowers they arranged, I imagine. Um, and, you know, they really love what they do and they're really good at it. And so that's what I imagine. There's one Sim here who lives here who is dedicated to their craft. And maybe this is their summer home and they're a seasonal uh, florist, you know, wedding season by the beach or I'm not sure. But that was kind of the energy I was going with, um, you know, just really dedicated to the craft of floral arranging. And I know in the game, we don't have a, at least I don't think so, we don't have a career career where you can become a florist. Like you you have the flower arranging table and that goes towards the entrepreneur skill, I'm pretty sure now, but uh, there are some mods. I know Kiara, uh, Kiara for mods, Kiara for Sims, I think is the name, I'm butchering it, but I'll put it in the description below. I believe that she has some uh, florists custom career type where you can actually like leave go to work come back or work from home um career type so anywho but yeah that's what i imagine that sim lives here and this really is getting me in the mood for my vacation that's coming up um i'm going to a cottage in jersey uh, i'm in the united states so for those who are not familiar with the united states new jersey has a lot of shores so a lot of people on the east coast we say we're going to the shore and the shore can mean a lot of different things because there's a lot of different vibes at the shore there are there's like more party town shore you know think jersey shore from mtv like that tv show there's that kind of vibe where you're partying all night all day drinking you're at the boardwalk and all that and then there's the parts of the jersey shore that are completely chill relaxed kick back some people may say more for old people <laughs> um but i'm going to cape may which is a more kicked back more laid back in like environment um i do love me a good party don't get me wrong but it is just what i need i need some relaxation and some you know just some respite from the day to day and i'm so excited i've been very excited about going to this cottage for at least like a month now um and so it's uh, very cute from the pictures i've seen so i'm excited i'll probably post on the community um the community tab just to show you where i'm at uh and it may give me some inspiration for another build because i don't build a lot of cottages um i'm mostly a family builder but i think this may i don't know spark my cottage era especially once we get into the fall i feel that I'll be really in the mood to do that. So, anywho, um, we are doing some landscaping here, as you can see, which was a little bit of a struggle because I wanted to keep it. Um, I love the debug items because debug has more, um, I guess you could say rough textures. I don't know if that's the right word, rough textures, but more realistic, I guess. Yeah, more realistic textures. Um, I've really been into that vibe a little bit more than the more, um, you know, in-game, the non-debug or non-live edit object op uh, objects uh, because they are a little bit more animated and they're beautiful, but I've really been liking like the more realistic, darker, rough textured items. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with, I've been playing on a MacBook as well. I recently got a MacBook um, and I, fun fact, I started playing The Sims 4 on a Mac. Um, I had a Dell computer that crashed while I was playing The Sims 3 and then I finally was like, okay, let me give in and play The Sims 4. And this was probably 
we were already probably like three to four packs in before I really got into The Sims 4. I was such a diehard Sims 3 fan and my little Dell computer with all my CC, uh, I really ran it into the ground and so it crashed completely. I couldn't get it fixed. And so I had got a Mac for school and um, around that time, like you were able to do Sims 3 on a Mac and then obviously The Sims 4 as well. And so I started playing The Sims 4 on a Mac and um, it was cool and all, like it, it you know, served its purpose. But once I came to PC, I just like, wow, like all the different options as far as reshade is concerned, um, I love it. However, I recently got a, another Mac um, just for my professional life and personal use and all that jazz. And I've been playing The Sims on it, but I've been using lighting mods and uh, texture mods to the the world because you can't use reshade or g-shade on um, a mac yet and so i really love the aesthetic i got going on on my mac um, it's completely different than what i have going on on my pc um, and i only i think the only person in my community who has seen it is my dear friend suzette she's one of my moderators um, she's a good friend of mine and uh, i showed it to her one time on discord we were sharing screens and i was like do you like this and she was like it looks so crisp um and so I think I might film some stuff on it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I uh, really, I don't know. I really, really love the way it looks. I, there's this creator called K Hippie, I believe their name is. Um, and the ground, like they have these different ground mods and also uh, for like the road texture like it just is more realistic almost a little bit alpha which i really really like like i like blending alpha and maxis i'm definitely a little bit of a maxis mix type of of person so i love how it looks on the mag it looks so good and i've been using lighting mods so anyway i'll digress but i may do a whole video on it or just start filming content on it um because i think i love the way it looks it's really it looks completely different than this so we, we shall see uh, but anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoy the rest of this build and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. We are growing. I can't believe we have over 1,200 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am really in awe of everyone who tunes in, leaves a comment, leaves a like. Um, I try to respond to everyone's comment and so it, it brings me a lot of joy to see people engage and um, yeah I hope you will have a wonderful week ahead or a wonderful weekend or wonderful time zone or however you are watching this I hope things are going well and you are healthy and you are taken care of and your family's taken care of. Um, I will be streaming on Twitch quite a bit um my twitch description my twitch is in my description uh it is twitch.tv slash mahogany maxine come join the party live i'm a little bit unhinged uh so yeah i uh, hope to see you there and enjoy the rest of the build and enjoy the screenshots talk to you soon guys bye
flower violet green Lily of the valley on my knees All the things I left behind Save this little place in my Rustling leaves Just like in my childhood dreams You're as delicate as a leaf You don't know what you mean to me I don't wanna lose you There's two
the colors That's sure something I could use 